For sure, it means a lot, you know, from your teammate. Uh, for sure, uh, you know, I'm kind of a little bit shocked right now, but, you know, uh, hard work pay off. You know, I work hard, and uh, for sure, the team teammate uh, helps a lot. You know, we got a great team around here. Uh, for sure, it helps. Uh, tonight, obviously, you guys play him next week. Is this kind of a preview of what's to come next week? Oh, yeah, for sure. You know, uh, you want to get the series going. And I think we did tonight, uh, you know, a couple of good check. Uh, we play hard at 60 minutes, and it show off at the end. Uh, for sure, we're looking forward for next uh, Saturday, for sure. Do you, uh, does the physicality, does that make it more enjoyable that it's not, it's going to get a little chippy? Come? Oh, yeah, for sure. But, you know, it's playoff, right? So uh, we're, all, we're all excited, and uh, we're looking forward, like I said. Uh, Sean obviously takes on the point lead yeah. in the ECHL. What does it mean to be a teammate of him, and, and what does he do so well? Oh, uh, you know, he's he's uh, he's a magician on the ice. You know, he, he's seen the ice uh, so well, move the puck. You know, he's he's unbelievable. And to play with him, uh, you know, to play side by side with him, it's it's really nice. And you know, it's uh, I, I'm looking forward for playoff for sure. Uh, it means a lot, especially with this organization. It's been here for 66 years, a lot of history here. So to win awards like that with the community service and uh, the Mr. Hustle, Mr. Common Award, it, it means a lot. You know, I, I cherish those, and uh, it's a huge for our team. And and it just it's it's nice to see. But I think uh, it was the end of a good season, and I think it works hard now. And I think we got the we got the horses in the barn. So. Yeah. Uh, was this a game of preview of what's to come in the next couple of weeks? Yeah, for sure. You know, we, it's, it's, it's the same thing happened last year. We played Quad City the last two games of the year before the playoffs. So it's a good statement game for us going into in the playoffs. You know, they're going to be a good team. Both teams are going to cut video on what happened tonight. So there's going to be a lot of information that both teams are going to take. But I think we're going to go ahead and <clears throat> go into the series hard and play our best. Do you like the chippiness factor that it's going to be? Yeah, it's been, a, it's been in my game for a while now. You know, sometimes i got to control, uh, hold, pull the reins myself a little bit. Hopefully uh, not take dumb penalties. But I think that's part of my game. And then sometimes. I, I edge for sometimes. Uh, the team voted Gabriel Desjardins. I mean, you may or may not have voted for him, but what does he mean to this team? He's huge for us, team. You know, he comes in every day. He, he works hard. You can see the speed on the ice. Uh, he goes, he goes end to end every time. Whether it's back check or four check, he always he wants that puck. You know, he looks for other guys too. So he, he defines what uh, an MVP would be for a team, and I think he did great this year. Absolutely. I mean, I don't know if either team had their full full lineup in. I mean, you could tell they were resting a couple guys too. But obviously, uh, both teams wanted to send a message, and we came out on top, and that's what we wanted. Uh, do you enjoy the chippiness of a, of a playoff series? Yeah. I mean, that's just like I said. It's setting the tone. So obviously, we want to. Get in each other's head and let them know this is what they can expect for the next uh, at least four games. How, how healthy do you feel going into this? Season? Yeah, no, I, I mean, I feel good. I mean, I think uh, we've been doing a good job at giving guys rest. Uh, you know, Gary's been good about it, and same with Dave. You know, if anyone asks for rest or has been nursing some injuries, uh, you know, they're getting the time. And uh, so now it's just uh, time to prepare for the fun. You came in with a two point lead in the, the standings. Was that one of the weirder goals you've ever scored? Uh, maybe not weirder. I, I don't know. I mean, I think even I didn't know for sure that it went in yet. I just uh, kind of knew from Soul's celebration that he knew it went in, and then after watching the replay, I mean, I could see the water bottle move, and obviously that's when he knew it touched some part of the net. So. What's it mean to, to clinch that points lead? Uh, I mean, it's nice. It's a it's a nice little individual, uh, you know, accomplishment. But uh, you know, I don't think it compares anywhere near to winning a championship and being able to celebrate it with these guys. I would blow it out of the water. What's uh, what are you guys going to be sharp like in this next week to get ready for the playoffs? Uh, you know, I think it's just uh, being more consistent a little bit right now. And for the last, you know, month or so, we've had a different lineup. Uh, a lot of the games we've played with guys getting rest or call-ups, injuries, all sorts of stuff. So now I think we know we have a better idea of what our, uh, you know, our lineup's going to look like, at least for the next, you know, seven games. So uh, it's a little easier to have some confidence in knowing what guys are doing. Gary was talking about not trying to get too crazy with the shipping. How do you balance kind of trying to be physical and set the tone while also kind of not losing your mind? Yeah, you know, you don't want to do anything stupid, uh, you know, take dumb penalties and, you know, possibly get suspended for playoffs. That was the biggest thing. And, you know, I don't think guys want to, you know, necessarily fight or anything like that. You know, you don't want to break your hand or, you know, just anything can happen from that. So I think we did a good job of that. I mean, Bobby stepped up and had a fight, but that was necessary with one of their tougher guys running around and, you know, trying to do something for them and got the upper hand.